And hello, welcome. I don't know why I always do that. I always clap. It's like an enthusiastic thing I do, um, but uh, it's kind of stupid. So we're off to a roaring great start. Uh, this is the first time that I'm streaming that the clip should also be saved to my channel. So maybe somebody somewhere in the world will want to watch it at some point. Um, I was reading online before I started streaming. I need to get to 50 followers before I can actually start uploading videos to the channel. Uh, I had this grand idea that I would go through and create clips of all the funny, hilarious moments that we've been having on the stream. Um, but we got a ways to go before we get there. I have like four subscribers right now. So, hey, four better than nothing. I appreciate all four of you more than you'll ever know. So let's play some games. Um, oh, it's loud. I got to turn this down for me. Should be okay for the stream. Uh, I checked a couple times the mix on the audio and um, should be pretty good. So yeah, it's, uh, what is it? November 2nd and we have the day off. You, some of you might know and maybe others don't that uh, we I work in the Halloween business, my wife Kathleen and I, and uh, today is the day, the first work day after Halloween, which was on Saturday. So we take it off um, and we brought the kiddo to daycare and we're just taking the day off so i'm gonna be playing games throughout the day um and first off on the schedule here is the dread x collection 2. uh previously in the stream we finished all the games in the first collection kind of jumped in here just to sort of look uh around a little bit so let's get started without any further ado um so yeah this one seems to have kind of like an overworld um element to it that i think has some like puzzles and stuff there's this creepy statue which is cool um, and we were playing a uh, squirrel shooter, which I'd like to continue to play. Yes. And we go. So, uh, this game we sort of just jumped into last time and we ran around and shot a bunch of squirrels. Um, good. The graphics quality is still set to squirrel. I was wanted to make sure. Um, so yeah, we killed five squirrels. We, uh, stapled them to our dead wife. Yeah. Okay. It's all saved here. Yep. There. There's our art that we're making, and now we're off to do it again. So, let's see. All right, last time there was a little note here about how you shouldn't shoot squirrels, or staple squirrels. It said, thou shalt not staple squirrels, but I did it anyways. And five days God is coming. That'll be fun. All right, let's see what our notes say today. Ooh, today I must hunt the big squirrel. Okay. One extra large squirrel, five regular squirrels. Yes. Let's see. Oh, look at this. We got two dead squirrels in our poison grass. I like the little happy noise it makes when you pick up the dead squirrels. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we can find out here in the woods. Um, we got to check on our question mark spots, too. But last time, uh, I was able to pretty quickly find and kill the squirrels by listening for their little chatterings and little fluffy tails wiggling through the bush. So just quietly listen. See if we hear anything. So yeah, this is the first stream that I'll be saving to the channel, um, which is probably for the best. Uh, la the early streams didn't have the best audio quality, um, and uh, wasn't really set up as well as we are now. So this is a you know we can consider this episode one, episode one of the Bibus Streams Games Show, um, or you know I don't know what this thing is called. It's just me playing video games. Just a guy in his basement playing some games. Uh, not particularly good at games. Um, just like to play them. Been gaming my whole life. Uh, and it's always been something I really enjoy. And Oh, alright. Here comes a, a ghost. That was like a ghost squirrel. Oh. that's I didn't know that was going to happen. But yeah, I figured, what the fuck, you know? I play games all the time. Might as well stream them. Maybe somebody out there will get some interest out of checking these out. It's 
some kind of entertainment value or a perspective that might not be seen um, anywhere or other places. Um, Because I do think I have some interests uh, that are different than a lot of your average streaming gamers. You're not going to see any multiplayer shooter action, high stakes, you know, being good at games games on this channel. It's uh, mostly I play single player stuff. I play for myself. I like to explore weird worlds. I like to look at strange monsters. And uh, I like, you know, weird lo-fi horror games like this. Let's see what we got here. The artist was inconsolable. We read part one of this yesterday and spent his days weeping and taking his portrait on long walks in the rain. This is a guy who painted a portrait with a magic brush that he thought was made of hair from a beautiful woman. It turned out to be made of hair from a wild boar. One of these walks, he encountered an old woman who said, ah, young man, I can see the reason for your despair. Come with me. For a few pennies, she said, this treasured painting could be brought to life. The artist was overjoyed. The spell was cast. Only then did he remember that he had only painted the woman from the waist up. Ooh, oops, oops. I shot a bullet. All right. That's cool. Kind of a creepy, uh, creepy tale of grossness. I mean, if you're going to paint a woman, paint her from the waist down, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey -oh! That's where all the good stuff is. Below the belt line. Not just women. I mean, that's true of men as well. Oh, all right. I scared that guy. You've got to remember to... I'm out here hunting squirrels. I'm not supposed to be running around like a maniac. I'm supposed to be quiet. Stealthy. So, I heard him. I heard the squirrel. All right, let's... Oh, we can walk for a little bit, probably. I'll just peek over this ridge. Yeah, a number of these games in the... Um, Oh, there you go. In the collect the first collection, where it kind of had this like pretense of being a normal kind of some type of a game, like a like a survival game, or a, this one obviously like a hunting game. Um, and then weird shit starts to happen. So I have a feeling that's what's going to happen here. Like, you know, this could just be if you took it at face value, a squirrel hunting game. Um. I've certainly played worse games in my life that didn't have anything else going on and were just, you know, this is a, this would be the game. You know, I bought a lot of those like 100 games on one CD collections that had games like this on them. Uh, and it would just be called like Squirrel Hunter XL or some shit. And that would be it. All right. So we need one more regular squirrel and the big squirrel. And... Now I'm I'm realizing now that I need to be a little bit more conservative with my ammo, especially because there's ghost squirrels flying around here. Right, let's uh, the question marks on the map are like little story things I can read. I want to make sure we check those out every day. I don't see any more squirrels. The secret is to listen for them. I see your happy birds. It's a creepy looking door. Small abnormal readings still occurring with odd regularity. Recalibrating always fixes them, but they come back the next day. I also keep finding dead squirrels outside the door. It looks like maybe an animal is leaving them, but I'm noting it as per my instructions. Come back tomorrow for another report. Okay. I don't see any dead squirrels. I would take dead squirrels. That's what I'm all about. I want them squirrels. Give them squirrels. All right. Well, let's uh, let's start kind of making our way back. Let's see if we hear any skittering in the undergrowth. I have to find some more ammo too. Vengeful ghost squirrel. That's not good. Oh, here he is. Oh shit, he got me. He popped, hit me and popped. But I have life and ammo over here. 
And look at that. What's that? It's like a magical druid circle of stones over there. That wasn't glowing last time. I don't even know if that was there. Let's see what happens if I walk into it. Teleporter, maybe? Oh, shit. Oh, no. It's painful. Okay. We gotta watch out for that. I could go. I guess I should go heal since I got hurt. Oh, I heard one. Let's head that way. There, I see him. I see his little fluffy tail. I'm coming for you, squirrel. I'm going to get you. Get up all up on you. Boom. That's it. Five regular squirrels down. Now we need to find the big squirrel. Uh, do we have any indication on our map? No. Where the big squirrel would be. Well, if I was a big squirrel, I'd probably be in a big tree. So I guess we'll keep an eye out for big trees. Right? Or somewhere where you can find some big nuts. I got a place for it. <laughs> Whoa. hey -o. Oh, there's another a note. A new note. I don't think there was a note here before. Let's see what it says. Squirrels cannot burp, vomit, or experience heartburn. That's a little shit. Wish I was a squirrel. I mean, I'd miss burping. Wouldn't miss vomiting or experiencing heartburn, though. Both of those things suck. So they don't have any gastro reflexes, it sounds like. We're learning a lot about squirrels. Hmm, maybe we'll go up to this corner of the map and see see if anything lives up here. Nope. No, nothing just there. Oh, we found a few of these obelisks. In 2007, 14 squirrels were arrested in Iran. What'd they do? Were they gay? I know that the Iranians just can't stomach that shit. Being a squirrel is one thing. Being a gay squirrel is not acceptable. Maybe they had pro-democracy ideals that were just not acceptable. They were Insurgents, insurrectionists. Oh, all right. I heard it. I heard noise. That was like a big, sounded like a big squirrel to me. There he is. There's that big ass squirrel. Look at that fucker. Oh, shit. I had him all lined up, dead to rights. There, we got him. That is a big squirrel. How am I going to carry that? Oop. There are enough squirrels. These are enough squirrels for today. All right, back to the house. Let's follow this path. Got to go staple the squirrels to my ex-wife's mutilated rotten corpse. As you do in a normal day. You know, you guys know about that. You know, you've heard of the rat race. Well, this is the squirrel race. All right. Head back in the house. Do our squirrel stapling. It's kind of a unusual layout for a, a house. A little bit sparse and cramped, but... Oh, what do we got here? I don't want squirrels. I want skin. Give me back my skin or give me yours instead. Oh. Uh, 
Sorry. Okay, how about some squirrels? Sorry. My wife's my wife's corpse is writing me letters. Uh you know. Look at that guy. He's so cute. Such a cute, happy, chubby squirrel. Alright, here we go. Mwah! Kiss the wife on the way out the door. Take a, a dukester in the old bucket. And off we go. See what uh, what's on the agenda today. I think it probably involves killing squirrels. So this will be day three. So God will be here soon. All right, so five more regular squirrels and a big squirrel. Something was scratching on the window last night. I should look for tracks. Oh, okay. That's new. Oh, yeah, look at Here we are. These are not normal squirrel tracks. No. Something out there is hunting me. Oh. Oh, I heard chittering. Where are you, you squirrel? Oh, there it goes. All right. Well, we know there's one this way. I spooked him. This is how I would usually play, like, regular hunting games, too. It's just, like, scare the animal and then chase it. Which is why I was never very good at hunting simulation games. Although there was a brief time I kind of got into them. I was, I was sort of obsessed with playing hunting games for a while. Okay, one down. You know, there's something that can be kind of kind of interesting about them, especially for a person who is not a hunter. There's sort of that uh, methodical tracking, the excitement of spotting your prey on the horizon. Let's see what this let's see what this note says over here. I hope it's a squirrel fact. Oh, shit. Oh, I scared him. Damn. Squirrels use chemosensory leg and feet hairs to identify food, then track it with their front antenna. Uh, I don't think that's true. I think they're talking about ants. Um, I'm starting to think that this game might not be the best source for accurate biological information on squirrels. All right. I think he's going to be down here. Are you down here, squirrel? Somewhere around here somewhere. There he is. I see his little fluffy butt. Got him. What do you ever do to me? All right. One more, and then we got to find the big boy. Hopefully whatever's hunting us doesn't come get us. I'm assuming it's going to be... If I had to guess, I'm going to guess squirrel with a human head. That's what I'd like it to be. Because the wife is missing her head, so, you know. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I thought that was a squirrel, but it's just a, just a note. Squirrels have urine release valves under their eyes and urinate on each other's faces to communicate. Okay, so that's not... That, again, I, I don't believe that's a uh, correct squirrel fact. I'm going to have to look that up after the game, but uh, pretty sure that's not the case. I've actually, you know, uh, had some experience with squirrels and their anatomy. That sounds creepier than it is, uh, you know, via taxidermy. And I did not find any urine release valves in any of the squirrels that I've worked on. So, oh, all right, I see you. I see you. Okay. Yeah, I should have, like, an advantage in a game like this, having actually seen the insides of quite a few squirrels. Um, you know, if, yeah, if, I guess if they had added a part of this game where you actually had to skin the squirrels, 
I would have been extra good at it. I heard a noise. Let's see if that's the big ol' the big boy. Nope. Just in case. I don't want him coming after me. Okay. Climb up to the top of this mountain. Pull the old Bethesda game technique of jumping our way up to the top. feel like fall well I'm trying to think of when the first time I ever did that in the game was it's made my way up a mountain I, I feel like the one I remember best was from Fallout New Vegas there was like a big mountain in that that I wanted to get across and I just remember like jumping my way up it but no before that was Morrowind that had for, for me that would have been the first one. Oh shit I heard a big noise that sounded like a big squirrel there it is. All right, got him. Yeah, Morrowind would have been the one because that was the first of those games that I played. What is that? It's a squirrel bear. Uh oh. I don't know if I can hurt the squirrel bear. I better fucking run. Okay, I don't. I don't like the squirrel bear. Ah! Oh shit! It exploded. Ah, it almost killed me. Uh, I guess I better find some life, too. Let's go. Oh, and we got to read our stories. I forgot. I hope there aren't more squirrel bears out there. Oh, there are. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's not good. Oh, good. Here's life. I forgot. We got to go read our little texts. I don't want to miss any... Uh... All right, so we need to go northeast to get to that one. Oh, yeah, Morrowind. That was a very um, formative game for me. It was, um, I never much uh, was much of a PC gamer, and I played that game on the original Xbox, uh, which was like just flat out the worst possible way to play that game. But I think that's kind of what led me into wanting to start building PCs and playing PC games was uh, knowing that because I ended up loving that game. Morrowind is like one of my favorite games of all time. And um, yeah, I just wanted, I realized I could play a better version of it with like mods and all this great stuff on PC. And that's kind of what made me want to actually get back into or into PC gaming in the first place. Cause we never had a PC. We only had a Mac. All right. So newly created half woman screamed and wailed, clawing her way in circles around the room as blood poured from the bottom of her torso and entrails flopping around in tangles. The artist sobbed, looked to the old woman who was examining the pennies he'd given her unfazed. She caught his gaze, shrugged and said, I reserve a special spell for these circumstances. She pointed to an ax mounted on the wall. OK, interesting. I wonder. So maybe that's kind of our backstory. I got to go run over to the other side of the map to get to get that we need to go to the northwest okay uh yeah the, this game kind of looks like how Morrowind looked on the xbox <laughs> <laughs> probably pretty close it's you know it's higher resolution um obviously that's a joke that's a funny joke Morrowind looked better than this uh, in some ways, worse than others. But yeah, I definitely remember hopping my way up a few hillsides in Morrowind for sure. All right, let's see what we got here. Is this our other... Oh, not quite yet. This is just another another helpful fact about squirrels. Squirrels break down their food with a structure called gastric mill, which is located in their stomach. Okay, well, that could be true. I don't, I don't think it's true. I'm pretty sure they digest their food like anything else. I know they don't have a crop, like some birds have a crop where they grind food up with like pieces of rock and shit. Something in the woods here that we didn't expect. I keep finding tracks and I hear it at night moving through the foliage and scratching on the concrete. In the morning, there are squirrels outside the door. 
with their limbs all pulled off and their heads twisted around, dozens of them requesting a call for instructions on how to proceed. Come back tomorrow for another report. All right. We'll just cut across the map to the southeast. It's weird how over a lifetime of playing games, you pick up these strange associations. Like, for some reason, I just thought of Herzog's Y. I don't know why. I have no idea. Something about, I guess, using directions and uh, on a square map. Uh, me and my cousins used to play that game on the Sega Genesis. Um, if you're not familiar, it was kind of like a RTS game where you had bases and you could build units. Um, and you kind of had a square map with different quadrants that you could control and little bases in between your main base. But you played as a robot uh, that could transform into a jet. Um, and that was just like, to us, that was the coolest thing in the fucking world. Um, and even though I don't really like those kind of games, we just had a crazy soft spot for Herzog's Y. Uh, and for some reason, just, I don't know, maybe something about this map when I pulled it up. And then when I thought about going to the southeast corner, it reminded me of Herzog's Y. Or some people say Herzog Zui. I always called it Herzog's Y. Great name. Either way, like top 10 game names of all time right there. But um, uh, I don't need ammo. Okay. But yeah, it's just funny how having played so many games over the course of my life, every now and again, two random games will just become associated in my mind uh, for reasons that sometimes aren't all that clear. Yesterday when I was playing one of these games, I had a flashback to Virtual Hydlide which was uh, another game uh, that we played a lot of. We were a Sega family. I spent a lot of time with my cousins growing up, and we had Sega systems. Uh, we were Sega loyalists. So we had a Saturn, and we had Virtual Hydlide. And that game is terrible, uh, but I have a very soft spot for it because we were just so blown away by the fact that you could like go anywhere, and it looked like photorealistic, you know, at least to our... Malfoy and Burns, hey, where'd all the squirrels go? Oh, shit, my wife's gone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Um. Uh-oh. Now what? Where's my Where's my wife? Is she in here? No. Oh, shit, she's at the dinner table. Here, have some squirrels. Uh, okay, nothing, nothing creepy about that. Let's just go back to bed. Just sleeping, dreaming about squirrels. All right. Okay, good. She's back. Don't run out on me like that again. You have me scared. Let me scared, young lady. Part of my enjoyment of these games is their kind of low poly PS1 style, but part of me also would love to see like a super high res remake of this <laughs> with like all the like trimmings of a modern game. All right. So uh, we only get one free squirrel today. Right, well, we're off to hunt. It should be God's coming in five days. We're on day four, so we should be getting pretty close. Ooh, a note. I'm learning. I'm learning a lot. Squirrels are always watching. Well, that is true. That's fucking true. I live. We live in the Midwest, and fuck, man. Nary a time do you go outside and not have a squirrel checking in on what you're up to. Okay. There's bullets over there if I need them. Squirrels can debone a human male in under three hours. I also believe that. Um... I've always, you know, I always suspected that squirrels could could fuck you up if they really had to. 
for a while I was really into collecting men's magazines from like the thirties and forties. Cause they would have these amazing covers that would feature a dude getting like torn apart by like relatively harmless animals. So I could totally see one of those being like uh, savaged by squirrels. And they'd have like a really detailed rendering of a guy with his shirt all torn open and cuts all over his body and squirrels just tearing him up. Part four, the artist lifted the ax tears streaming down his face. The half woman continued to scream and claw. He brought the ax down. Her left arm rolled across the floor and still she screamed and writhed, brought it down again, separating her skull into two parts. And somehow still she screamed. Again, the axe came down again and again and again and again until she screamed no more. Oh, shit. That was stupid. I didn't mean to do that. I, I heard a squirrel. Oh. Let's, I'm going to run away from that guy. He won't find me over here. All right, let's get to the... I think I can hear them. Yeah, I can definitely hear the, the squirrel bears up there. Damn. I'm surprised that actually worked. Let me go in here. Squirrels are capable of hating you. Oh, shit. Oh, man. It's better to stay hidden than to engage. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. Restart day. Okay. All right. Well... You know, you're not going to win them all. Not every hunt's going to be successful. Every good hunter knows that. Let's just, uh, just head up, head to the northwest corner. See if we can, we'll see if we can get any squirrels along the way. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure I don't have to reread these again for anything, but the completionist in me wants to do it. Been, oh, oh, there's the big one. Shot him oh, right in the booty hole. Been... You know, lifetime of playing video games has trained me to try to make sure I unlock everything and find all the hidden shit. So. I know it. Oh, shit. Damn. I didn't even see that fucker. All right, we need to find some health. All right, there's bullets over there. Bullets are almost as good as health. In general, I'm a more of a a tanky type player, so I would prefer health. All right, well, let's keep heading northwest, and we'll or north northwest, and we'll hopefully we'll find some. Did we read that one? I can't remember. I think that was one about squirrels hating you. Oh, here we go. Hold on. We've got squirrel sign. Yeah. 
it's kind of kind of feels spooky now. Now that I know that uh, there are things out here that can kill me. I hear rumbling. Oh shit, I think I gotta turn around. I did. The woods. The woods are distracting me. Disorienting me. I've been walking in circles for days. Oh, there's a note. There's health. Oh, I heard. I heard chittering. There's a squirrel. Cause squirrel's delight in causing pain. Also potentially true. At least I don't have to calculate bullet drop. Although it would be kind of funny if this if this game was like super serious about its simulation. Oh, I wonder that hurt me. I wonder if I can, if I'm getting chased by uh, by the big squirrel bear, if I can seek shelter um, and lure it in there so it dies before it hurts me. I don't see any squirrels around here. Gotta get two more. It's in the walls now in the concrete looking for my brain. It can't find it because my brain's inside my skull, but it will. It will peel away skin and bone to get inside. When my brain is taken, I will come for you. I will break you open. I will take yours instead. I'm in the shadows now. I am seeing you cower. You're already stretched apart into pieces. Your head is already twisted off the spine. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, I got spooked and shot. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Can I hide? It's coming. I'm going to try to slink away. Oh, nope. Damn. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I think if we head back this way, we can heal up. Hopefully no more, no more squirrel ghosts come get us. Uh, that's my wife. I don't like it. I, I don't like it. Why are you here? That's creepy. Let's get this health. That Yeah, that's spooky. <laughs> Did not expect to see her out here. All right, let's see. That. I can hear a squirrel. Gonna creep along nice and slow. Don't wanna jeopardize the good work we've done here. Alright, I see one that way. Far enough away I can walk, I think. Shit. They're getting I think feel like they're getting more savvy. I wonder if it's hard to hunt squirrels in real life. I feel like they're so like semi domesticated that they wouldn't like really be that scared of people, but they're so like tiny and fast.
Got it. All right. One more. Well, we'll head to the southeast and see if we can pick one up on our way back home. I am bringing home squirrels for dinner. I have eaten a squirrel. Uh, you know, in taxidermy school, um, I went to taxidermy school in a small town called Pine City, just north of the Twin Cities area here in Minnesota. And um, I, somebody made like squirrel, squirrel something there. And then, of course, when uh, when I had some of my early artistic uh, experiences, we we had uh, gallery shows and we served squirrel chili at a couple of those um, when we were doing taxidermy art. Uh, we we're kind of like a, almost like a stunt, you know, to kind of freak people out. But yeah, I remember a very surreal experience when I was in taxidermy school that they would have like a um, like a five dollar a plate game feed day where you know people could come in off the street and the hunters who were in the class would prepare their uh, their kills in different ways. And if you haven't ever sat there eating an elk burger made from an elk that is like mounted and staring at you, uh, then you really haven't lived because that'll freak you the fuck out. Oh, there's a, a ghost squirrel over there. Uh, hoping I can just kind of avoid him. But yeah, that was definitely like one of the creepier experiences in my time at taxidermy school. Just like sitting there eating elk. And there's the elk. Staring down, being like, how do I taste, buddy? Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, well, we need one more squirrel. Where are you? It'll really suck if I die. I don't want to do this whole day over again. I'll say this game is probably a little bit long in the tooth. Like, I like these games to be um, in that half hour to 45 minute range, and I've I think I've been playing this one for almost an hour and a half total. So to me, that's a little bit too long for these kind of experimental, you know, kind of short horror experiences. Um, I mean, obviously your, your mileage may vary. As uh, you might have found the squirrels more quickly than I have. Maybe I shouldn't be running. Maybe it dynamically populates squirrels based on how stealthy you're being. Just gonna just gonna be quiet for a little bit and listen. I don't hear anything. Oh, shit. That's bad. Damn it. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. I just feel like I would like to quit, but I feel compelled to try to beat these games. I don't really know why. They're not like... 
I don't know. I just, I want to. I want to fucking win. So I guess, you know. They should have done something where, like, depending on how many squirrels you've killed in the day, you get more dead squirrels over here if you have to restart the day. Because, uh, cause that sucks. I just need one more squirrel. And I, so far, I haven't found a good way to avoid the, uh, the giant bear, bear squirrel. It's gonna start making noises. You know, you run out of shit to say playing a game like this on a stream and just start grunting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Alright, I heard a girl. Here comes a ghost squirrel. Alright, well, I fended off that. So that's good. Oh, there's that guy. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Oh shit, there's a squirrel. Alright, I'll just quietly walk this way. I'm just gonna hide in here. It did have like a little tool tip that you're kind of invisible when you hide in these weeds. So maybe that's the secret is when you see see the big nasty you just gotta hide. Alright, there's a squirrel over there. Damn. Didn't realize I was so close. Shit. Keep getting keep getting too close to these squirrels. Maybe I can like herd them all into the corner and just kill a bunch of them at once. All right, here we go. This guy's ours. Just, I'm listening for the... I hear the squirrel bear. There he is. I'm just going to stay very still. Uh oh, I don't think this is going to work. Okay, I, I did it. I hid. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. I want to kill that squirrel, but I don't want to fucking attract the squirrel bear. Let's see if we can get real close. Where, where are you, you squirrel? There it is. I'm going to shoot him from in here. Now I'm going to hide. Can't see nothing. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. Uh, it seems like maybe if you don't move, they can't hurt you, too. Like, because a few times there, I've... He's walked right over me. 
Oh, here he comes. All right, I'm just going to stay still right here. I'm not going to move. Hands off the keyboard and mouse, and we'll see if this works. Yes, he's walking away. You go on your merry way, Mr. Squirrel Bear, and leave me to my business. Oh, he's coming back. <laughs> it looks like uh, it looks like a float that somebody would build for like a uh, low budget parade. It kind of makes me want to build a squirrel bear float. It's like something that somebody would put in the May Day parade here. All right, looks like he might be heading off. Oh, nope, spoke too soon. Fuck out of here, squirrel bear. What is that? Is that my wife? Oh, yep, that's my wife. Honey. Honey, I'm at work. It's not appropriate for you to come visit me while I'm working. I like that she just appears randomly, like... All right, I need to find some health. Keep an eye out over there. Oh, squirrel ghost. I'm going to just kill it before it can kill me. All right, that'll probably get him coming. Yep, I can hear him. Here he comes. Okay. I see him. I'm just going to stay still. There he comes. Nothing to see here. Move on your way. There he goes. Kind of sounds like a cat purring. He almost sounds friendly. Where am I? Oh, shit, I'm way up here. All right, we need to get heading out of this zone. We need to go southwest. Oh, shit. Nah. <sighs> yeah, that's, I don't know. I don't know about this. Maybe I'll just, uh, well... Are there settings? Can I play on easy? Is there an easy mode? <laughs> We'll try one more time. We'll try one more time. I don't want to quit out and... Well, last time I didn't lose my progress. So I guess I could quit out and go play a different one of these games. It's also getting up close to lunchtime here. I need some lunch. All right, let's head this way. On the lookout for squirrels. What I should do is find a health pack and kind of use that as my my base of operations so that I can always come back and heal if I need to. Oh, I heard a squirrel. Did I scare it? Did I scare it off? Oh, here it is. It's a big one. Nice. Okay. So that's good. Got the big one down. Let's see if we can just find a... I think there's a... Isn't there a health pack by these stones? Getting nervous. I keep thinking I hear the squirrel bear, but I think it's something else. 
I guess the pipes in my house creaking. Oh, I see a squirrel. I saw its little fluffy tail sticking up. I'm gonna go get it. Hey, what's up, TS? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a streaming in the daylight. Nothing like uh, playing weird PS1 style horror games in the middle of the day. Today is my day off. The post Halloween vacation day. So just gonna hang out and play games throughout the day, I think. Just trying to, I want to beat this game so that I can go order some lunch or something. I think I might get Chinese food today. Uh-oh. There's that thing. Gotta stay away from that thing. I haven't found any health. I need. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna kind of stay close to this. All right. So where are we? Right in the middle of that area, right up here. Okay. So this is gonna be our little like our hangout spot to come back to. I just try to remember it's kind of right in the middle of that top top area. Now we just need to find three more squirrels. They seem a lot less common now than they were on the earlier parts of this game. Squirrels delight in causing pain. Well, duh. Alright, let's see. If I were a squirrel, where would I be? I'd be in the in the woods. All right, we're gonna head out. We're gonna go. We'll go straight north and see if there's any anybody hiding right up here. No. Okay. Let's go east. There's got to be one over to the east. Come on, squirrels. Where are you? Is that a squirrel? No. Just some dirt. That's the big nasty. And he's coming. I just heard a squirrel, though. Somewhere around here. I heard the little chirping. There he is. I think I heard another one, too. I don't know if that big fucking... Uh, yeah, here comes the big motherfucker. He's going to hide right here. And he'll go away. Actually, what I should do is just have him hit me. Because I have a life thing right here. So, hey. Hey, you. There. Because Then he's gone, I think. Look at this ammo, too. All right, I want to make sure I don't lose track of... Oh, I heard a ghost. Squirrel ghost. Ah, you got me. Oh, yeah. Well, that's okay. So we got this health. So, all right. So now we're... Okay, so there's like kind of a health up in this area and a health right here. 
And we're going to keep going east. And search for more squirrels. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hi. Uh, this is my wife. How are you doing? Uh, I'll, I'll just leave you there. I'm just f getting some squirrels, dear. I only need two more. Where are they, though? Squirrel claws are sharp enough to tear our eyeballs. That's a verified fact. I'm getting far away from my little health pickups. But when you're hunting the elusive squirrel, one must roam far and wide. Hmm. I haven't really been down to the southwest. Maybe I need to go down that way. Some ammo down there. No squirrels, though. Man. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a ghost squirrel. Well, I better... Uh, I'll take it out anyways. Just see. Here he comes. He saw me. Where is he? Damn. All right. Now I need to get health. I'm going to head... Uh, well... I don't know. I hope maybe there's some health down here. I better just head towards where I know there's health. So if I head basically straight north, I'll get close to some health eventually. I feel like my keyboard's kind of not working that well. I keep hitching up. I don't know if that's me or the game. Thought I heard a squirrel noise. Now we can start heading northeast. Okay. Should be right here. All right, look at that. 
All right, let's see. Hmm. Not having much luck here. Find any more squirrels. Where'd they all go? Oh, yeah. Come here. Come get some. You want this? Come get it. Ugh, take that. Now what? I'm not afraid of you. Look like an art car from look something from an art parade. So let me just put a squirrel costume on top of a VW bug and they're driving it down Lake Street all slow. Got a coexist bumper sticker under there, I just know it. Oh man. I don't know how much more I can do this. <laughs> what at what point would it be considered insane to continue running around this game looking for squirrels? I think I've passed it. I could be playing, you know, some of the greatest games of the generation right now. There's, I have unplayed games that are like, you know, super highly reviewed critical successes. And I'm playing this squirrel hunting mini game from a ps1 style horror anthology from like a few years ago so what does that say about me i guess maybe i gotta go up into the mountains We'll just have somebody will edit all this out, right? When the archive of my life is uploaded to the cyber brain in the sky, they'll just they'll just edit out the parts where I played the squirrel hunting video game for like three hours on my like one day off a year. I could be playing any number of great games, but no. Oh, I'm running around looking for squirrels. Not finding any. Maybe there aren't any more. Maybe that's like the trick. There's a ghost squirrel. So that doesn't count. Yeah, game might be broken. <laughs> I guess I need to consider that that's a possibility as well. That the game just broke, didn't spawn in enough squirrels. Where are we headed? All right, well, if I mean, we'll just, well, that's going south. That's going back towards our house. I guess I'll go north for a little while. Oh, shit. Okay. Look at that. Spoke too soon. I'm sorry I didn't trust you, Squirrel Game. All right. One more. Just got to get one more. There's my wife. Just hanging out in the woods, checking up on me. She just came to check up on me, see if I needed some soup. Oh, 
don't hear anything. You got to get off the beaten path to find the squirrels. Uh, what is that? Is that thing going to eat me if I come close to it? Oh, no, it's just a statue. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like a giant squirrel. All right, so... There's a health thing there. It's always good to be close to a health thing. And bullets. Okay. Where haven't I been? I've been all over. We'll go southwest. Let's see where that takes us. There, okay, yep, there's wife. She's like right about there, okay. I wish I could like, wait, let me just make sure. Do I have any? Use call. Oh, I have a squirrel call. I didn't know that. That might have made things easier. <laughs> we'll see. If, if squirrels come running, that's going to be a classic Bibus moment. Um, of not realizing that uh, that there's a button or a, a, an in-game function that would solve my problem and playing the game for many, many hours before figuring that out. Oh, I called a ghost squirrel. Ah, shit. Yeah, alright. Well, I know there's health uh, back this way. I guess that's one danger, is if you use the squirrel call, you might call a ghost squirrel. Oh, shit. I heard a real squirrel. There it is. Got it. Fuck yeah. Oh, I heard another one. Now they're everywhere. I guess using the squirrel call was probably a good idea. All right, let's uh, let's head back. I want to. Oh shit! Ah fuck! All right, I need to make sure I get some health because if I die, I will commit ritualistic suicide. I hope I don't have to do another day. All right, cool. Now we head back to our house. It said in five days God's coming, and uh, tomorrow will be the fifth day. Feels like I've been playing this game for five days. All right, just follow this path back to our little cabin. A little happy cabin. I like these games do feel like reading like um like little horror short stories. Um, it's kind of neat. All right. Hopefully this will be... This will be the end. All right, nothing in there. All right, nothing in there. Just checking, making sure everything's still 
normal. There we go. Look what I got you. Squirrels. Oh, man. Ah, she's got a face. Uh, looks like I might have to finish her leg. All right. Well, well, we'll see what happens here. Might have to do one more day. Uh, oh, good morning. Hello. Hello. I like that she's got a squirrel face now. She's so beautiful. All right. Let's see. Now that I know that I have a squirrel call, fucking uh, the world's my oyster. God is coming today. Okay. Cool. All right. Yep. Yeah, looks like we're hunting squirrels again. Okay. Well, at least we get two off the bat. Let's, uh, There are more squirrels than you have bullets, and you have made him very, very angry. Okay. Uh, oh. I better go find health. I'm going to need to be by health. These fucking squirrels are... Shit's getting real. I found out earlier doing some research that you have to have... 50 subscribers on on Twitch before you can up uh, upload videos manually. So so I did set it to archive uh, the streams from now on. Um, I think I'm a ways away from having 50 followers. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So uh, all the sweet clips of past games we'll have to wait till they get uploaded or maybe i'll throw some up on youtube the the quality on the initial streams is not not as excellent as we've gotten it to now now we're like practically professional here all right scroll call Come on, squirrelies. Oh, shit, I didn't read the... I forgot to read my little message. Oh, there's a squirrel. Yeah, I am... I am in search of followers and primes. How did you know? can't believe all I have to do is go to bigfollows.com and I'll have all the followers in the world. All right, lady part five. The artist's ears rang as he turned to the old woman and said, what is this unspeakable horror that you have brought to me? How can I ever escape what has been done here? What penny spell can you cast to conjure good from this? The old woman examined the bloody mess and said, well, young man, this will make a mighty fine stew. And so they made a stew from the remains, but it was poison and they both died. Art will eventually destroy the artist at the end. Oh, grim. A grim assessment of art and its role in our life. Oh, who's that? Come get some. I'm ready for you. Yeah, come get it. I'm not afraid of you. Because I'm standing right by this health thing. All right, let's... Can we get any more squirrels coming? I like that squirrel noise. Come on, squirrelies. Oh, I heard one. I heard you. Where are you? There he is. That might be... Is that a regular squirrel or a big squirrel? Just regular. Just a regular old squirrel. I think I heard another one, too. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Did I get him? Yep. Look at this shit. Like squirrels left and right. Oh, we gotta make our way. I heard another one around here too. Oh, yep, I hear you. Oh, there he is. I scared him. I spooked him. I just found myself totally and utterly absorbed in stalking this squirrel. Ah, shit. I missed. <laughs> oh, shit, he's coming back. Got him. Now we just gotta find the big squirrel. And we gotta go read our last uh, information report. So we'll head uh, we'll head northwest. All right, now we're getting there. Let's hit the hit the squirrel call every once in a while. Let's see if we can lure out Big Mama. Checking around, make sure we're not being followed by any big red VW bus squirrels. Okay, I can just head north. And gods be willing, we'll run right into a big squirrel to kill. And then we'll read that note and we'll hopefully be done. Never to ever play this game again. Not that I have bad feelings towards it. It's just uh, starting to make me feel like I might be crazy. That's all. All right, let's see what we got here. Please disregard previous supports. Everything is quiet. Okay. Good enough. All right, big squirrel, where are you? I'm just gonna keep mashing this fucking squirrel noise key. Is that a squirrel? No, it's a rock. All right. Uh, so we've kind of run around there. We'll just keep, we'll go, we'll go this way some more. See what we can drum up here. Any other, any other squirrels hanging out? Shouldn't be that hard to find a giant squirrel. Just follow the trail of giant squirrel turds. Okay. I'm gonna start cutting back this way. Oh, shit. I heard something. Could it be?
felt like it was coming from kind of over here. There it is. Got him. Haha. -ha. Look at that. I must prepare to meet God. God is coming. What does that mean? Uh, shit. We want to go then to one of our spots that has health and ammo, I'm guessing. Or do I need to get back to the house? Uh, I'm going to go back to the house. We're going to go south, south. I'm going to assume I want to be... I want to finish my wife sculpture and maybe stand in that circle. Okay, south. All right, we're almost there. We can get there. Run, run, you doofus. God's coming. No, stop. <laughs> Damn it. It just stops running randomly. I think probably my keyboard has some connectivity issues here. I must meet. Oh, shit. Uh. I think it's saying God's coming. Ooh. This is spooky. Where's God going to come from? Ah! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even see what that was. I just saw meat. I won! Look at that. There we go. Uh, cool. I did it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I feel like I missed... Uh, I'm going to have to look up what God looks like in this game. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to probably sign off for a bit and, and eat lunch. But before that, I was going to solve this little puzzle. So we have little dagger, spear, big axe. All right. So this one should be big axe. This one should be spear. This one should be little dagger. And this one should be Big Digger. Right? What the... Oh, wait. No. Uh, it tricked me. You tricked me, you little... You sneaky. Because the hands move positions. Oh, here he comes. Ooh. I got a key. You collected a key. Oh, I can turn lights on, too. It's... Oh, okay, so I have to... You have to solve the uh, the little puzzles in this house to get keys to play the games. That's kind of cool. What's this? Oh God! Oh no! I found another. I found a body part, and for some reason, I decided to take it. Creepy. I like. Oh shit! There's a body in here. Oh. All right, that's cool. I'm into this. This is like right up my alley. Okay, all right. Doing a little spinny. Oh, 
Look at that. <laughs> Pretty cool. I won't ask any questions about what's going on with that. I suppose they don't want to make it too hard to actually like, oh, look, there's a basement. What do I see in there? I see a guitar amp. Go down there and shred. What do we have here? Man, I got a, all right, I got a person, a bug, a wolf, a cow, a rabbit, and the ocean. And what's this say? The king of tithes demands payment to be precise. The pound of flesh, this time in blood. Oh. What do we have here? Okay, so that's where it's going to go. Okay. He's like, I don't know what. Hmm. Just going to hit all of them and see what happens. Oh, okay, I'm balancing shit out. It's one of those puzzles. Oh. That's it, right? Did I do it? No, it's slightly off. Just use my old secret technique of randomly clicking buttons until I get the right combination. Oops. Hey, look at that. See, works every time. Two bits. Oh. Uh. So you gotta play shaving a haircut. I'm guessing, right? Shaving a haircut. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. No. Hmm, all right. That'll take some more fiddling, I'm, I'm sure. Welcome to my menagerie of terror. I know I'm not exactly the ideal laboratory setting, but I need more people to manage this given the current circumstances. Well, there was a lot of time here for me. Okay. Removed his tongue. Removed his eyes. So first we remove tongue, then eyes. So we want it to be one, two, three, four, four. Is that four? Five. Yeah. F uh, no, three. Wait. Oh yeah, four. Four. 
We want it to be just after 4.30. So I guess the little hand out of the four. Big hand at the 30. Look at that. Look at me. Puzzle solving machine. The big place. All right. Okay. Cool. Uh, right on. Well, I'll probably be back on later. If anybody's chilling. Yes, if you're hanging out later in, in the afternoon, I'm going to go try to uh, find some lunch, and then I might stream a little bit before we have to go pick Oliver up on my my day of day of Bibus. Uh, until next time, this is Bibus signing out. See you later.